Hello, grade 6, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So last week we started with the lesson hydrosphere. And as you all know that hydrosphere is the system of Earth that includes all the bodies of water on Earth. So last week we started with the lesson and we talked about the first part which is the water cycle. We define what is the water cycle and we said that the water cycle is a continuous process by which water moves from Earth's surface to the atmosphere. And we said there are three essential parts of the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. We talked about evaporation as a process, condensation as a process, and precipitation as a process thoroughly, and we discussed each process by its own. Now we are going to discuss how earth water is distributed. So there are two types of water, either fresh or salty water. Fresh water is only found in 3% and usually they are found in huge masses of ice that are called glaciers. Most of the water that is found in the ocean, such as the Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, and Arctic, they are salty water. So 97% is salty water and 3% is fresh water. We are going to also be discussing the different types of earth water. It can be either be surface water or groundwater. Surface water, from its name, it includes all the bodies of water that are found on the surface, such as ocean, rivers, lakes, and ponds. We are going to be talking about watersheds also, which they are a supply to the river, water supply to rivers. And we will be also discussing divides, which are also part of the surface water. And also ponds and lake are part of the surface water since they are found in the surface. As for groundwater, they are the water that is found underground and they usually fill up soil and rock layers. And there are aquifers and wells that are also examples of groundwater that we will be discussing and finally we will be exploring the ocean and its features such as salinity, temperature, depth and we will be talking about how the floor of the ocean has been made through different processes and uh, the interactions of earth plates and Finally, we're going to assess our knowledge using online quizzes, interactive websites, and all the questions that can be found in our book. This is it for this week. Thank you so much, 6th grade.